Yeah, Shalom. First and foremost, want to give our honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Raka Hakwadash. Um, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. Uh, this is the brother Yeshai, part of Men of Valley, South Carolina. And this lesson right here, man, is uh, just a, in transit. Um, you know, it was meditating on things, man. And hey, the Lord is blessing us, man. The Lord is blessing us, man. Us uh, that's in the know, you know, um, and as um, what I mean by in the know is uh, knowing the law, uh, these, uh, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. Okay, knowing what pleases the Lord, knowing what pisses him off, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, knowing his name, which, uh, which uh, is, if not the most important thing, knowing the names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you know. Um, and, and to have this knowledge to be able to, you know, uh, work out our salvation, man, with fear and trembling, okay? Because we're coming upon a time, uh, you know, a, 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 a evil time, evil, times of evil, man. Well, you know, evil means uh, bad times, ill, bad, eve time. So, you know, but the Lord is blessing us, man, uh, to have his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, especially with uh, all these people. That that uh, occupy the world, you know, uh, uh, you know, with the, the heathen. See, they they're not gonna get it, but the uh, Israelites, us, uh, you know, um, the Lord's chosen people. Okay, uh, the scriptures say that um, one third will be uh, uh, saved through the fire, man. Roughly paraphrasing. All right, so there's gonna be and um. I like how the elder Malcolm uses the pie chart to give you a visual of how many are going to be saved as opposed to the ones that are not going to be saved man, on this side, you know, and, and it's, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a huge gap. It's a huge, uh, uh, you know, um, difference, man. But the Lord has blessed the small number, the remnant that know this work, that know his, uh, um, you know, his ways and it's a blessing man sometimes it's so it's uh it can be um you don't even have words for it that's how that's how the blessing is so so profound man it's so uh great you know just imagine this is not anything that we've done or you know lord will and um hopeful elect that's what we refer to ourselves as well because you know we're hoping that we are part of that number and there's nothing wrong with being a, a hopeful elect. Would you rather have hopes that you will be saved or just be like, fuck it, I, I'm not going to get saved. So I'm not even going to call myself a hopeful elect. I don't have any hope. You know, you got guys out there that want to say that, uh, you know, us calling ourselves the hopeful elect is going off when it's not, man. Because, you know, it, it, it uh, when you call yourself a hopeful elect, it, it, it comes with, you know, actions, doing the works, uh, prophesying on the highways and the byways. You know what I'm saying? And that, it, it, you know, it, but then also when you, uh, you know, uh, claim not to be of the elect or, you know, you don't want to claim to be a part of the hopeful elect, then your actions, you know, if you do things that, you know, won't make you part of the elect, man. You know, like the majority of these people out here. But anyway... Not to get off subject, man. The Lord is it, it, it's a it's a blessing, and and the Lord is is gonna continue to bless us, man. He's blessing us right now in these times, um, Lord willing, uh, and, and the blessings are gonna increase. Okay, uh, when Jacob's troubles come, or Jacob's trouble comes, okay, the Lord is gonna be doing miracles, man. All right, because uh, brothers are gonna be in the concentration camps in the wilderness, you know, uh, you know, for the most part. Uh huh. You know, so. Man, and you're gonna be in some uh, dire situations to where you're gonna have to call upon the names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, and he's gonna have to, uh, you know, step in. Okay, divine intervention. You know, uh, what does the scripture say? Uh, when the enemy shall come in as a flood, the Lord shall rise, uh, uh, the spirit of the Lord shall rise up a, uh, a standard. Roughly paraphrasing. You know? And that standard is going to be uh, the spirit of the Lord is going to rise up a standard. That's a divine intervention, man. All right. He's going to have his angels working. 
all right uh bringing brothers food okay just like um you know um that uh that raven did for elijah okay you got all uh, the animals gonna be bringing food okay um you know and look it just out of the blue just just have a whole full course meal just appear to you man you know what i'm saying like we gotta have that type of faith man because the lord can really do that there's nothing that's impossible to the lord you know and to have that faith in your how while your how is shy you know it it, it pleases him because hey uh um without faith it is impossible to please you how about shim yahweh shah man you gotta uh, uh have faith and that faith is uh the evidence of things not seen the subject of things hoped for you know so we know going into these times that yahweh about shim yahweh shah lord will uh, we be a part of that elect that's gonna get us through those times, and and these people don't are not equipped with that faith because, like the scriptures say, uh, faith is a gift. You know, I think that's in James. Look, faith is a gift. Everyone doesn't uh, possess the uh, uh, gift of faith, and a lot of people are gonna, you know, resort to uh, some some um, heinous acts when Jacob's trouble hits. Man, cannibalism is gonna be back on the rise. Um, you know. Uh, uh, people are gonna be eating fucking all type of abomination just to just to survive, and ultimately that lack of faith is going to be uh, 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 um, capped, or it's gonna be uh, you know um, the culmination of that lack of faith is ultimately is gonna lead to taking that uh, that C to the H to the I to the P, man. And then there's no, there is no uh, 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 returning from that. There's no recompense. I mean, there's no uh, uh, slogging. There's no um, um, repentance if you take that, man. If you take that karagma, you know. And uh, the book of Revelation, the 14th chapter, talks about the uh, punishment. You're going to um, be in a lake of fire when this, this whole place is nuked and it's turned into a lake of fire. You know, you're going to be a part of that, man. There should be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You know, so man, it, it's a it's a blessing uh, to have his faith, and the Lord will bless you in carnal ways too, man. To make sure that you know, um, you 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 doing, um, you know, what I'm saying, uh, 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 to to not make this life as hard as it is. Of course, brothers, we all we go through things, but then sometimes you know the Lord uh, will uh, uh, you know bless us with with certain things. You know, some brothers have uh, good jobs for the, uh, and I'm not saying that you know. A job is 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 uh is gonna get you saved. No, but just while you're doing this work, you don't want your uh life, so-called this life, this uh this carnal life, to be hindering your work for the Lord. You know, because it, it's it's hard when you're like dead broke, poor, and you know what I'm saying, and to to get the resources, the things that you need, uh, you need gas to go to camp. All this and all that, and the Lord will look out for you, man. The Lord will bless you. The Lord has been blessing us. The Lord is blessing us, and the Lord is going to bless us, man. Israelites, all right. The other nations, you know, uh, they're gonna have their lands uh, after a thousand years of slavery. Said then, uh, the dead uh, were were were. Uh, I forgot. Or I really paraphrased. The dead was risen after a thousand years. Or you know what I'm saying. The dead rise rose. Uh, that's talking about those nations. They're going to rise, you know. Uh, 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 I mean, they're going to be able to, you know, habitate and be in their lands that the Lord gave them, man. You know, after that thousand year period. You know. So the Lord, and even and even that's a blessing to them, but they're gonna fall the lost after commandments. Um, you know, we're gonna have to enforce it on them, but. They're still going to have their piece of land. They're still going to have, you know, their little things that they do. As long as it's within the guidelines of the law, statutes, and commandments, man. And that's even, that's for the heathen. So, hey, our Lord is merciful, man. Just imagine, you know, more over us, the Israelites, his chosen, man. So, yeah, man, uh, just a quick, you know, spiritual rant. Um, the Lord is blessing us. The Lord is he's, he's blessing us, man. And you got to know that. You got to know that, man. You know? got to know that. 
But yeah, that's it, man. We we'll give our honor, praises, and glory to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shah? By Shem Rakai Hagwadash, double honors to the apostles. The elders of the great millstone rule well. And a peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the elect. Shalom.